It's your boy Stuart Scott coming at you live from Sports Center. And Neil Everett. Before our scheduled programming, we have breaking news. Heather Sue Mercer is filing a Title IX lawsuit against Duke University. For those who don't know what Title IX is, it is an act to ensure women's equality in sports. Duke's former head coach, Fred Goldsmith, told Heather Sue Mercer, former All-State kicker at Yorktown Heights, that she had made the team. She was a walk-on kicker in 94. She wasn't officially on the team, but did, but did attend practices in the fall. She was in an inter-squad scrimmage and kicked the game-winning 28-yard field goal, as you see in this video here. After the field goal, she got instant media attention, with numerous interviews appearing on The Tonight Show. Even with all the media coverage, she still did not play a single game in 95, but was still on the full-time roster. Goldsmith told her not to try out at Goldsmith any summer. Goldsmith told Mercer not to participate in any summer activities and refused to give her a uniform. Goldsmith stated, I'm wondering why she did not prefer to participate in a beauty pageant rather than a football game. He also suggested that she sit in the stands with her boyfriend that's sitting on the sideline. Now, a quick commercial break. Working at ESPN has its perks, but it is all work here. People think ESPN jobs are easy, but it's not easy. We're coming! <laughs> Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Bill, you got those paperwork ready? Bill! Bill, you got that bit. What are you doing? Dude, smell these markers. This one smells like great. What do you huh? See, that one smells good. Yeah. Oh, smell this one. Smell this one. It's blueberry. Oh, blueberry. That one smells good. See, look. Taste that. It's really good. This one, this one. This one's like our snow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, our snow. I like our snow. ESPN, it's a hard job. Right now, we're both swamped. Yeah, Stuart, I'm ready to go home. Yeah, let's head up. Hide and seek, 20 minutes, steals it! <laughs> it's your boy, Stuart Scott, coming at you live with an exclusive interview with Coach Goldsmith, head coach at Duke University. First question What are your thoughts on the incident with Heather Sue Mercer? Well, Stuart, Heather Sue Mercer is a respectful and athletic individual. She's a joy to have on our program, and we love being around her, but we feel she is not qualified enough to be in our Duke program. What is your opinion on girls playing in guy sports? Well, I feel girls simply do not belong. They cannot compete on the level that males can compete against each other. They're just simply not qualified to do so. Men are tough and girls are not. Men are stronger and girls are not. And men are more athletic. Therefore, in a man's sport, a woman cannot successfully compete, especially on this level of play. Very interesting. Is it true that you didn't let Heather Sue Mercer play because of her sex? Well, Stuart, through the lawsuit, I do not wish to answer that question entirely. However, I will add, I do not feel she has the ability to play in this league, and there are better opportunities for us at Duke than keeping Heather Sue Mercer in this program. Any last thoughts before we conclude this interview? Stuart, again, I feel men are better equipped to compete against each other on an athletic level. Men should play men, and women should play women, and keep it at that. That is how sports should be. Thank you, Coach Goldsmith. I will... Next on Sports Center, we have the guys from PTI duking it out about the two big cases here in 1997. Welcome to PTI. It's your boy, Mike Wilpop. And your boy, Tony Kornheiser. We're here today to play the game Role Play. Role Play. And I am going to be Heather Sue Mercer, who is suing Duke University. Who, and I am uh, Coach Goldsmith. I will be Mike Tyson, and he will be Ovander Holyfield. We're going to start off with Tyson versus Holyfield. So Tyson, you think it's cool to just bite a dude's ear off? 
right. Hey, if you can't handle the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Just because I was working you. No, oh, no, 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 no. I was no. destroying See, you. No, what happened, what happened was we, you know, we were... We were snuggling in the corner, and I, you know, I might have, might have been taken off a little bit of your. Were you ear. hungry? Uh, hey, were you listen, hungry? <laughs> I have nothing to say because I'm an idiot, and I probably won't do anything with the rest of my life. Okay, next. Fair enough. Coach, all right, Heather Sue Mercer. So you're suing Duke University over what? Uh, I'm suing Duke University because you told me that I could play. And I kicked a game-winning field goal in, s in a scrimmage. In a scrimmage, who cares? It's like it's. it's I'm like, better. Really? Th I'm better than most of the walk-ons, in. In your personal, in the woman's opinion. Oh, absolutely no! I am clearly better than the walk-ons, that were kickers. No, not at all. Even a blind squirrel you, can find a nut. Okay, my dude. Actually, you're a chauvinist pig. You're a chauvinist pig. I'm a chauvinist pig, and I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win this case. I'm yeah. just telling you right okay, now. Okay, right. We will see. Back to you in the studio, Scott and Neil. Good night, Canada. Thank you. Coming back live at Sports Center. We asked people on the streets what they thought about the Heather Sue Mercer case. Hi, right, we have Brian with us, and we're here to ask him a question. What do you feel about, how do you feel about the Heather Sue Mercer case? I feel that she should be able to be playing on the NCAA team. Do you think she should get $2 million? Uh, depending on her case, I mean, does she have a good lawyer? Uh, I guess good enough because she did win the case. She did win the case. All right. Yeah. Well, um, I guess given the everything going on, why not? You know. All right. We have Josh Shumway with us, <laughs> and he's here to tell us how he feels about the Heather Sue Mercer case. Do you feel that she should be able to play with men? No, she shouldn't be playing on a man's sport. Why do you feel this way? Because it's a man's sport, not a woman's sport. Do you think she should get the two million dollars? Fuck no. <laughs> Those are some strong opinions. Those are very strong opinions. One more great opinion is by Judge Foreman on this case. Mercer filed a, law, a lawsuit against Duke and Goldsmith alleging sex discrimination and the violation of Title IX of the Educational Amendments of 1972 and negligent misinterpretation and breach of contract in violation of North Carolina. Title IX prohibits discrimination on the basis of sex by educational institutions receiving federal funds. Duke and Goldsmith clearly violated Title IX laws and therefore Mercer should win the case. Win the case. That concludes tonight's episodes of Sports Center. Heather Sue Mercer did end up winning the case with $2 million. Have a good night, America.